Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome to the Burger Battles where we will definitively answer the age-old question, who serves the best burger? Today we are going to start with five guys. Probably the priciest of all the burgers, but I'm hoping we're going to set a standard today. Now, I'm going to be marking the burgers on a number of different things. We're going to have price, we're going to have taste, size, uh, quality of meat, chips and condiments. Um, we're going to pull all that together and give you like a cumulative score out of 10 as well. So it really is going to be probably the most conclusive review series that's been done on YouTube. Alright, well, we're going to head into Five Guys now. So the burgers are cooking at the moment. Now, I have chosen for the staple burger that will be obviously needs to be the same one each restaurant. Uh, I've decided it's going to be a cheese and bacon burger. Now, I know we live in modern times and people like different things. There's a whole variety of different burgers, a whole variety of different things you can be, ways you can be. You know, I don't care what you want to be, who you want to shag. A cheese and bacon burger is the ultimate. So we're going to be ordering that at each restaurant. Um, at the moment, it's cooking quite loud. Uh, as an intoxicating smell of grease in the air. I'm now at the condiment station. Um, not a big fan of making my own Coca-Cola. I would prefer that to be done for me. However, it does give you the option of ensuring there's no ice. I don't want ice. Uh, the other thing I do like is you give them free access to the ketchup. I uh, hate being made to feel like a criminal for wanting more than two ketchup. Uh, so the fact that trusting uh, to grab a good handful, uh, it's a big plus point for me. We're sitting down, waiting for the burgers to be cooked. So, uh, we need to talk about what we do know. Price, we know so far. Uh, $8.95 for a cheese and bacon burger, which is obviously at the higher end of the scale for fast food. Um, $2.95 for a little fries. Uh, although they're not that little when they're cold, so that's kind of a good economy. Um, as I say, the condiment game is strong here. Look at the kind of access I've got. I've got myself plenty of ketchup. That is what I will kind of I'll comfortably see me bring through a big cheese bacon burger and a lot of fries. Just waiting for them to call our number now. The food has arrived. Initial impression. So the fries look much smaller than they are because there's a mountain of them in the bag there. Um, I do like the way the food is coming around the hank. I like the gory stains. Uh, I don't know, something about that I find pleasing. Um, and the burger. So initially, the heft, the weight, it feels substantial. Um, I kind of, something about them reminds me of a woman's breast. I always think, what size would that be? And that's probably about a 32 uh, C cup, I would say. Let's open her up and explore what we've got. She is a beauty. We've got a double patty. Uh, you see the lovely American orange cheese, which I do like there. Um, and the bacon, you've got, uh, it's streaky bacon. I do prefer back bacon, but I like the way it's crispy as hell. Uh, and there's no mayonnaise. I did get a burger the other day that wore, had mayonnaise for some reason in it. Why you would do that to a cheeseburger, I don't know. The cheese had melted and mixed with the mayonnaise, and it looked like the jolly green giant with a case of syphilis and really spunked his load in my burger. It was awful. But this looks good. Nigel is going to capture this moment for prosperity. The first of my burgers in the burger battles. Um, here you go. Let's taste it. Wash it down with the chip. I'm now about a quarter of my way through my burger. Uh, and I have to say, I've done a magnificent job. I'm loving it. Almost like every bite is better than the last. I'm enjoying the contrast of sensations from the burger the crispy bacon, the sloppy cheese. It's lovely. Uh, the chips are nice and crisp on the outside, uh, but with good fluffiness on the inside. Um, and obviously, I've gone for a Coke. Now, I do sometimes like a banana milkshake when I come, but um, you can't go wrong with a Coke. It does cleanse the palate wonderfully between each kind of mouthful. I am about two thirds of the way through the burger now. Um, a lot of chips down. Now, at this point, when I'm having, say, a Macca's, I do kind to get like a little bit of a queasy feeling in my stomach that I've eaten, but it's not really food in there. 
um, there's something weird about McDonald's. It tastes good, but it doesn't really want right. You rent it half an hour later, you're hungry. Um, I don't feel that faint sickness. Um, I just feel full of good food. Uh, I'm very much enjoying it. What do you reckon? Good burgers? Good burgers. Yeah. God, I feel sorry for vegans right now. I absolutely stopped. Um, it was gorgeous. Now, I'm, I'm not going to give the overall score now because obviously I'm buzzing. I've just ingested half a pound of meat. That's going to make any man happy. So I'm going to wait till I get back home and I'm thinking a bit more logically. I'm going to do a full debriefing and score out of 10. I'm back home again now. Uh, it's been about three hours since I consumed the burger. My excitement levels and meat juice levels have returned down to a normal level. Uh, so that I feel ready to do the debriefing and get the scores on the doors. So, um, before we went in, I mentioned some categories that we're going to work our way through. Uh, one of them was size. Now, you saw the burger was a hefty size. It fitted in my hand, but it, it filled it. It felt good. Um, it was a double patty. Um, I think for size, I would give it probably 8 out of 10. It was perfect. A good half pound of meat to consume. Um, and it also, yeah, three hours later, um, I'm not probably hungry yet, which is pretty good going, actually. Um, what were the other categories? Condiments. Now, I would have to give them 10 out of 10. There was as much ketchup as you could want there. Um, didn't have to ask for it. You were just kind of trusted to go and get your own ketchup. It was all there. It was a mecca of ketchup and mayonnaise. Uh, so for that, um, Five Guys gets an absolute 10 out of 10 for me. Um, the restaurant itself, I guess we should have like a decor, ambiance kind of category. Um, I give it an 8 out of 10. Um, there was plenty of room, it was clean, maybe a tiny bit noisy, um, but maybe I'm just nitpicking there. Now, what were the other categories? Uh, chips, possibly the most important category for me. It gets massively overlooked by so many people. Um, I am normally a much bigger fan of the skinny fry when it comes to accompanying a burger. Um, for the fatter chip, I normally only like that with fish and chips. And however, uh, Five Guys seems to have merged a perfect chip there. It's not quite a fat chip shop chip, um, but it's definitely not a skinny chip. It's got more substance to it. It's thick, I guess. It's like a thick fry. Um, they're way, they were really well cooked. They were uh, crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. Um, I hesitate to give it a 10 out of 10. Um, I'm so demanding when it comes to chips, but uh, that was a good 8.5. 8.5 and that's got you know I, I love chips so 8.5 is a good score for me um, what were the other categories a uh, taste taste is a massive one isn't it now the burger was well cooked possibly overcooked for me I would have liked to have seen just a hint of pink there in the meat uh, it was totally grey brown it had been thoroughly cooked um, and the bacon was very well cooked. It was crispy as hell, um, and I'm all over that. Uh, I liked the uh, the American burger cheese in there. Um, it was a hot, greasy mess, and that is exactly what you want from your burger. I think I'll give it a nine. A nine. Um, the only other category was price, and this, unfortunately, for Five Guys, is where they really fall down. Um, when you get a full-size burger, just a small chips and a Coke, it's at least 15, 16 quid, which is on the pricey side. You can get four McDonald's meals, three McDonald's meals for that. Um, is it is it worth that trade-off? Uh, I did mention it earlier, McDonald's food, you only rent it for half an hour, you are hungry again afterwards. Um, and it does leave you kind of very thirsty because of all the salt that's in the McDonald's. So um, it, I think it's a fair trade-off in some respects. Um, but on price, I do have to, you know, I have to mark them down for that exorbitant price. They only get a 6 out of 10. Now, this is time for me to decide on the overall score now. This is kind of setting the tone for the series. Um, five guys is very much high end, um, so you'd expect them to score highly, um, but we will have to take that price into account. I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. Um, you're not going in there if you're looking to save money. You know what you're going for, the ultimate burger experience, and it comes pretty close to providing that. 8 out of 10. Wow, we've done it. We've completed our first burger battle review. 
<clears throat> very excited to do some more. Do let me know in the comments which kind of burger restaurant you want me to check out next uh, for the burger battles. I'm going to chuck into some pudding. Uh, I used my forethought and thought it out. I don't really like, I don't even know if Five Guys do puddings really, um, but I like something apple-y afterwards. It's kind of, it harps back to the old apple pie. Uh, that I used to get at McDonald's. Now, uh, obviously, I wasn't even going to McDonald's just to get an apple pie. What I did earlier today, I popped into Greg's and I've got a couple of uh, apple ice danishes, uh, which in some respects are better than a McDonald's apple pie. Uh, so I'll polish them off now. Um, enjoy them to a job well done. All right, thank you very much. If you have made it this far into the video, please do leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, do leave me a dislike. I want your honest opinion so I know whether it's worth making a second episode of this. Uh, as I say, do let me know in the comments where you want me to go and review next.